And in case you missed it, the Cardinals' schedule is out. They're going to open the season in Buffalo in September. Thank goodness. Then they got three straight at home that bye week. Nice in the middle of the season, week 11. Then they finish, of course, with three of their final five games at home. Cardinals coming off back-to-back four-win seasons. Time for a 12 sports triple threat. Myself, Lena Washington, Luke Linden here to give our predictions on the year. Guys, what would you make of the schedule when you first looked at it? I liked it. I, they got a tough stretch to, to start the season, yeah. but we'll, we'll break it down in just a moment. But I, some interesting, fun matchups. And some fun trips. Going to Green yeah. Bay, going to Buffalo, <laughs> going to Miami. Yeah. So chalk that one up to an L probably, right? South, South Beach. Beach flu. Here we oh. come. All right, here's my prediction. I'm predicting the Cardinals are going to go 8-9, and nine, guys, and just miss the playoffs. That's competitive, right? Remember, they've only won eight games total the past two years. This would be a major upgrade for Jonathan Gannon and the entire coaching staff, the entire roster, too, as well. My biggest thing, let's start hot right out of the gate. You're going to get a win in Buffalo week one. And then, of course, you got to get Cliff some revenge, right? You're going to get a win over the commanders. Kind of a split to start the year. But the biggest thing of it all, it's going to be tough right after that. After the bye week's not bad, but it's all going to come down to week 18 against the 49ers. They're going to beat the 49ers on the final week but not enough to make the playoffs. They're going to miss it by just one game. But, guys, we got progress in year two of Jonathan Gannon. And finally, they beat a divisional opponent for the first time under JG. Lena, what do you think? I don't know about all that, Cameron. I think the Cardinals will go 7-10, and 10, which is more than four, if you know math, right? Ah. But I'm going to disagree with you in terms of the divisional win, the divisional match up what the record is going to look like here in that seven and ten record i'm not feeling good about what happens after the bye week so this seattle game right here in week 12 chalk it up to an l because in five of the last six seasons outside of that 2021 phenomenal season the cardinals have lost every game out of their bye week so i don't feel confident especially going up against a division opponent i think week two at home Against L.A. will be the only chance the Cardinals have to pick up a win against an NFC West opponent. Mm. I mean, the schedule is tough. These opponents are tough. And they're only going to get tougher with the competition rising in the division. But, hey, one divisional win ain't bad. Right, guys? Luke, <laughs> I what do you think? We'll hey, take it, right? Small progress <laughs> is still progress. You know, it's interesting. Vegas has the over-under for the Cardinals' win total at six and a half. I think they clear that total. I'm with Cam. I think they win about eight wins on the year, but not good enough to make the postseason. They got a tough stretch to start the season. Five of their first six opponents were playoff-worthy opponents last season. They're going to struggle out the gate, I think, but it's the back end of the season. You know the phrase, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. I think after that bye week, when they face the Vikings all the way up until the Rams, week 13 to week 17, I can see this team winning three or four in a row, and that's where I think they get the chunk of their eight wins on the season. After the bye week, fans, you got to be patient. Again, not how you start, it's how you finish. Let's just ignore the first half of the season. Second half of the season, we might be thinking, hey, this team can make the playoffs the season after next, and the fans hopefully have more optimism than they did at the start of this season. It's interesting. I think fans have some expectations. Like, they want to see this team take some kind of big jump, right? Absolutely. I think also, speaking of that Week 2 win, winning at home yeah. is oh, paramount please. for this team because that has been a struggle for the last several seasons. Yeah. So starting off with a win at the Nest in Week 2 would be a good way to kick off Year 2 under JG. Well, and four wins last year. We're yeah. saying doubling up or almost doubling up. That's okay. still a win in my book. Whoever gets the prediction right gets an extra vacation day.